Hey y'all, I am here tagging a few people trying to get on this era. Era, y'all know I don't get on here often, but I decided to do a live review, a live cut review, and all of the above of the rambutan fruit. These things for y'all that had never seen it before. Um, Cause I posted a picture the other day. I've never tasted this fruit before. Um, and I saw it on Tabitha Brown's video. And I love Tabitha Brown, her and her whole family. They are amazing. So I am here about to do the review. If y'all are here and y'all want to know specific questions or want to know certain things that, you know, I'm probably going to review or, or talk about anyway, um, ask away. So, hey, <laughs> so yeah, these things, I saw them on tap at the Brown and her and her brother was trying them the other day and I wanted to try them. So I got me, uh. My, excuse my wrinkled shirt. I had to put some clothes on. I'm laying around the house and I didn't want to get on Facebook Live naked because, you know, that's my only fans page. Y'all pay for that. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So before I get started, the Rambutan, because I was dis, I was mispronouncing it yesterday and I was calling it Rambutan or whatever. It's called Rambutan. Um, and some of the health factors are uh, decrease unwanted fat now that's number one and that's the thing that a lot of us are dealing with um right now trying to struggle with keeping fat down and things like that so this right here will help do that and if that's the case i'll be eating these damn things every day <laughs> um it's a good source of iron um skin and and, and hair care as y'all see I, ain't, I try to keep my hair low my skin is pretty good so i, I try to keep my water intake up in my sweat, of course, y'all see my workouts. I sweat like crazy, so I'm usually cleaning my pores out. Um, rich in vitamin C, improved sperm quality. I don't want no kids, so I really don't ne necessarily need that, but that's always a good thing as a you know male to have that. And then it's anti-cancer. So, you know, while as we go into Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and then, um, you know, there's other types of cancer. So if these things are beneficial, here's my review, because I know I'm... I'm not going to say I'm picky, but I know some picky people when it comes to eating certain things. So hopefully my review will, you know, push people to try something different because I've never, here I am 38 years old and never even seen these ugly things until I was watching Tabitha Brown. So, you know, and even as a personal trainer, I knew about a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I, I usually did the basic stuff. So, you know, here's an opportunity for me to try some different. Let me try to scoop this back some without knocking everything off the counter. So y'all can get a better view. Uh, if y'all have any questions, please. Oh, yeah, Erica. <laughs> it says it, it decreases unwanted fat. So, you know, if that's the case, I'm going to stock up on these all the time. Um, so I got my trusty, I got a sharp knife. It's a it's a good cuisine art. So hopefully, and, I'm, and usually the pictures, when people cut them, they usually cut them with the, the bulb out on top. And I'm going to try to cut it pretty, but I ain't making no guarantees. I got a good knife over here, but... You know, here we go. I've cut into it. Let me try not to cut my damn finger off in in the process. Uh-oh. I think I fell a seed. I think I cut too much. I cut through it too much. Uh-oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? I did it. Now, let's try to get this. So the... These little things are not prickly, you know, my honest review. These things are not prick. That's the wrong <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen. And then we're going to have to get on some squats. He said, mess around and losing booty meat. I don't want to lose that. I, I like my thickness. I don't know about nobody else, but thick is in and everybody ain't able to pull it off the way that I do. So, <laughs> um, but the texture is, is, it's not slimy, but it's, it's, um, it's soft. And I just kind of popped that right out. Um, and there's a seed on the inside of this. So I guess, you know, I guess me cutting into it was was really an okay thing because I felt the seed. But I wanted to pull the top off and make it feel, you know, like some of the pictures that I see. Um, yeah, Cuisinart. I'm, I know. Chill out. LaDre, chill out. 
I got it. I'm going to taste it. Okay, well, clearly I cut around to try to get around the seed and it's not happening. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bite into this and see. Because you're not supposed to eat the seed, but there's a seed in the middle. Mmm. It's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got some seed in my mouth. That's nasty. But here's the seed. And I'm going to try to get it out before I eat it. But it's really good. It's sweet. Um, you know what? It, Ryan said, is it easy to acquire the taste? It's really good. Um... I couldn't pull the seed out, so I'm kind of eating around the seed. Um, and what does it taste like? Let me see. It's sweet. It's not quite a kiwi texture, Ladre, because I, I I would say the kiwi without the seeds. That's that's a really good uh, description of it. Where did I get it? I got it from the DeKalb Farmer's Market, and it came in a big old bag of these. So I have plenty of them here to try. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. Something that I, you know, I think, if anything, I'll probably spend time pulling the seed out because clearly I don't spend at least 60 seconds trying to pull the seed out of here. And there's the seed. Um... So I, I get a little imp impatient when I'm eating my fruit. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say, Tosh. She said too much work for that little piece of little piece of fruit. It is a lot of work. So like I was about to say, um, I'll probably spend most of my time cutting the fruit, getting the meat out, trying to get the seed out. And then, you know, kind of putting it in a refrigerator so it's already prepared. Because like grapes, like I love eating grapes because you can kind of pop them in your mouth. Um, whenever, yeah, uh, Kita, that's the one on Ponce. Yeah, they have, I love the DeKalb Farmer's Market. So I went there yesterday and I saw some and I was like, I gotta try them. You know, at least I can try them because I saw Tampa the Brown and her brother trying them. But yeah, it's, it's really good. So there's the inside of it. I'm, you know, let me try to get some good light on that. Trying to, maybe if I do like everybody else do. So that's the inside. Let's try another one. Hey, Yashika. I haven't seen you in forever. How you been? How's the family? Tell your mother I said hello. Um, yeah, y'all. Let's see. Let, let's see if this one come out as pretty as the last one. Maybe not. Uh-oh, it did. Look at that. I did it again. So it's easy to peel. And like Tasha said, it's, it's time consuming for a little piece of fruit, <laughs> uh, but it's worth it. It tastes really good. And I guess it makes you eat less of them because, you know, usually when you take your time and, and eat things, you eat less of them. You know, you're not supposed to eat a, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I definitely buy them again. I just don't like this seed in the middle, but you know, things that they got to grow from somewhere, but it's pretty good. I definitely buy them again. Hell, I got to get through this bag first. So I got to see how long it takes me to get through this bag. Um, Tamarin, I've never tried those. I did see some because I was, um, in, like I said, in the Cap Harvest Market yesterday getting my stuff to make some juice. Um, I guess this is a perfect segue to, you know, talk about the juice. Oh, it cracked. So the seed looked like a peanut. But I was reading online that you're not supposed to really eat the seed because it's not really good for you to eat too many of the seeds if you have to eat the seeds. So I ain't going to play with my health today. I'm not going to eat the seed. <laughs> um... I'm gonna be smart about it. But the it peels of heart pretty good. It's a sweet taste. 
it's sweet. And I've read on, on like some of the things online that it can be sour, but these are sweet. This is the second one I've had. Um, the first one was kind of, it was more tender than this one. So, but it's a sweet taste. It's something that's easy to acquire. So if you take the time to peel them, you know, things like that, this is some, definitely a, a, a easy snack. Um, something that you could replace junk or candy with. Like it's, it's definitely, if you have a sweet tooth, like I have a sweet tooth, so I love all things that are sweet. So I'm always trying to find um, different fruits that are kind of sweet. Like I love pineapple. Um, so even when people say, oh, not too much sugar, pineapple is a natural sugar. So, you know, you can have pineapple, of course, in moderation because there's a lot of sugar in it, but it's better than candy. So I would prefer these over candy as ugly as they are because they look like little when i first saw them they look like the little um things that roll around <laughs> in the scary movie and i was like do i really want to do this to myself and you know if so do i really want to be on facebook live giving you know fluffed up responses this is my genuine response in my genuine review to the rambutan i was about to call it rambutan again it's the Rambutan fruit. Um, but it's really, really good. So, any questions before I go off live? Y'all know I don't like to be on live long. Um, and again, like I said, I will be preparing. If you are in Atlanta um, or you want some juice, I will, you know, I'm about to rev up. I finally got my bottles flowing again because, you know, with COVID, everything was shut down. So, the, um, the, the, uh, the shipping was backed up. So it was hard for me to get bottles here, um, but I got my bottles. So I'm back to doing juice and I'm also back to doing black lemonade. And once I make my black lemonade, then I'll get on and I'll, you know, let y'all know what's going on in, in all the health benefits. Of course, I'm be posting stuff. Y'all know y'all always see me posting things. So if you get an opportunity, and you've made it this far, please click the like and share button on this video so that it can give somebody else some um, information or, or show somebody else the review that may be looking at this fruit or maybe saw it on, you know, somewhere else and want to try it and want to find out what it's like. Uh, and I think that's about it. I appreciate all of y'all for watching because I just uh, decided to do that today. You know, of course, <laughs> jump on Facebook Live and show the world the genuine response to the Rambutan fruit. So... Until next time, and, you know, keep tuning in, because ain't no telling. I saw a whole lot of fruit yesterday when I went through the, uh, the farmer's market. Because there's a lot of fruit that I still haven't tried in my life, that like this one. I've never tried it. I've seen it. So, I will definitely be doing more reviews on the fruit and different things like that. And, and um, yeah. So, until next time. See y'all later. Bye.